So we got a lot of news today. The first one is Nikkei apologized to Japanese artist Neko to the similarity between an in-game sprite art and a character design by the artist. In the Twitter by Neko, she said that they said that I think there are some people who are interested. We have received a DM from Nikkei management acknowledging the similarities between the characters and apologizing. We are currently investigating the discussing future measures, so please wait for a while. You can see that in the left here is the Nikkei game sprite for one of the characters in Nikkei, and the right one is the False Slender Samurai design by Neko. I mean, you could see from the hair, like they're all the same, the coloring, and also the hair band in the middle also. The middle part is really, really the same, and I don't know what happened between Nikkei here, but I guess it makes sense that people really think that they are really similar, and Nikkei is like plagiarizing the art from Neko. So yeah, in uh, the next news, we got Square Enix president says that it will be aggressive in applying AI. So Square Enix got a new CEO, the president Takashi Kiryu says the company will be aggressive in applying AI in its development and publishing efforts in the future. So Kiryu, who was appointed as the Final Fantasy new boss in June 2023, made a new year letter. In the letter, he explained the new initiative he has put in place since his appointment including fighting games in development and accelerating a plan to provide more resources to the internal team. Kiryu also said that Square Enix was expanding knowledge sharing with the goal of standardizing its process and enhancing our efficiency as well as encouraging closer collaboration between its content and publishing teams. Perhaps the most eye-catching section of the letter is the ambition of using artificial intelligence or AI for the company. Kiryu said that we also intend to be aggressive in applying AI and other cutting-edge technology to both our content development and publishing function. In the short term, our goal will be to enhance our development productivity and achieve greater sophistication in our marketing efforts. In the longer term, we hope to leverage those technologies to create new forms of content for consumers, as we believe that technological innovation represents business opportunity. Earlier in the letter, Kiryu also spoke about the impact of generative AI as ChatGPT, which he noted had quickly expanded the cover image, video, and music. The, pre the president, Kiryu, did not share any specific about how he would use AI for game development, but Final Fantasy VII Remake's co-director has previously discussed how it built an AI tool for character facial animation and lip syncing. Square Enix precious president Yusuke Matsuda used last letter last year letter to express the company's commitment to blockchain technology. In the latest letter, Kiryu said the company will continue to support this effort. So yeah, between Nikkei plagiarizing an art from another person, which is not good obviously, I hope that could reach a conclusion, and to a Square Enix president and its usage of AI. Will it be good? Will it be not? I don't know, I guess time could tell. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will be coming out next like February, so yeah, let's hope it goes well. And that's it for today's video, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!